Hi, James. Um, so I want to measure a roof and get an idea of whether it would be suitable for solar panels. Um, what do I do? Yeah, absolutely. So why don't we use uh, an example of our new office in Osney at Hollywell House? OK. So here I am on Google Maps and I'm zooming in to find our office, Hollywell House. Fantastic. So although um, the default Google Maps provides a kind of a, a, a footprint, ideally we want to see the profile um, and structure of the roof. So you can, if you go to layers in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you can change it to satellite view um, and that should give you a fairly up to date image of the roof like that. Fantastic. Right. Um, so one of the first things we look for um, when we're looking at a potential roof uh, for solar PV, but potentially any roof for solar PV, um, is looking to see if the roof is south facing. So naturally, as we're in the northern hemisphere, we want the panels to be uh, facing as due south as possible uh, in order to capture as much sunlight um, throughout the day. And ideally, wanting those panels to be pitched towards the sun as well. So, you know, slanted roofs uh, or, um, you know, pitched roofs are, are also uh, ideal. So in this case, we have both, um, as you can see um, from the uh, yeah, from, from the image, um, the uh, building is uh, somewhat south facing um, and also likely uh, is a pitched roof. As you can see, um, there is you know, kind of a significant seam on, um, on the roof on both of those two roofs with skylights on either side. So the south facing aspects of these two roofs might be a great candidate uh, for solar PV. Um, so how much PV could we put on the roof? Let's find out. So um, one of the reasons uh, we kind of use Google Maps as a quick diagnostic tool um, is because there's a measured distance function. So if you go to the top left hand corner of the roof there and right click. OK. And right then go click. to measure distance on the bottom, which is the, the last uh, selection on that tab. Yeah. Yep, a white dot should appear. And now you can uh, draw a box left clicking on all four corners and then finally the, on all three corners and then your final corner. Um, to essentially uh, get a rough idea of what the uh, surface area of that roof section is. Okay, so I've gone that, clicked that one there with my left click. Yep. And now I'm going to do this corner here. Yep. Measure down to the bottom corner. Oh, yep. How precise do I need to be here, James? Does it need to be um, right on the roof? And not overly precise, you know, as I said, this is kind of a, for us anyway, it's a rough kind of diagnostic tool and it hopefully will give um, anyone using it a good idea of, of, of the size of solar PV. So we've got a, we, we've got a total area there, which is fantastic and a total distance of around 217 um, square meters. So it's a fairly sizable roof and uh, potentially if we added in the additional small roof or lower roof um, on there, we might be able to get to 250 square meters. And the reason I mention that is that's kind of roughly the size we would anticipate uh, being required for a 50 kilowatt peak array. And for the low carbon hub um, schools uh, and businesses offering, that's kind of what we're identifying as our, as our minimum size. Uh, so certainly we're looking for that size that is, of course, you know, continuous, as in case in this roof, you know, we've got two good sized roofs that we could put all our panels on together. Um, one thing to identify here and also for other roofs that you might be looking at um, is that there are, uh, as you can see from the image, skylights dotted along both of the south facing aspects of, that, of those roofs. Um, and certainly, you know, as I mentioned, we want to ensure that our panels are uh, continuous or contiguous in sense so we can get these big long strings of panels all lined up nice and easily and that's the most cost effective and efficient way of ensuring the panels uh, can be installed correctly. Um, in this instance likely we wouldn't have too much of an issue in that um, we'd likely be able to miss out one or two panels in that string to be able to avoid those skylights and not obstruct them um, but also keep a good uh, continuous number of panels and that may drop the number of panels and subsequently the output um, a little bit but hopefully not significantly um, to prevent the, the roof from being viable. So yeah, I hope that kind of gives you a good uh, uh, understanding of, of what we look for roughly as a, as, as a quick check for solar PV. Thanks, James. That's great. Fantastic. See you All soon. Right. Cheers.